Okay, in this demo, we have some multi-track drums. Up to this point, time correction of drums has been tedious. And with Sonar 6 new audio snap feature, it just became a lot easier. Let's go ahead and listen to this particular mix. I've got uh, overheads here, stereo overheads, a kick and snare. Um, I just kept it eight bars just to keep it simple so, so you guys could really see how it works. Um, right now, uh, audio snap is enabled. You see this red box that indicates that audio snap is on. Um, let's, let's just listen to this. this these are some drums I played in the studio, and uh, it just really wasn't on the beat the way I wanted it to be, so, um, but it can correct it easily enough. So let's just listen, listen to these against the click, and you'll see what I mean. There's a little bit of hesitation in there, um, and in the, you know, you're trying to put together some tight tracks. You really don't want that hesitation, but let's go ahead and listen. See what I mean? Right there, measure seven. A little bit of he hesitation. All right, so an easy way to do this is just select all the tracks. We'll, we'll open up the audio snap palette. And it's pretty much a, a very simple command, and we'll just quantize to this the eighth notes. Now let's listen. Okay, now that hesitation is gone, um, but there's a late hit here and that is because uh, some transient is just zoom into that. Oops. Um, for whatever reason, the way it detected on this particular file is uh, was a little ahead. But again, I can go back there and move that where I want it. I think there's another one in there. By the way, I can turn this uh, snap grid on. And uh, let me just look at eight, eight notes here. So there's another late one. But, but you get the idea here. It, it, we, we can get things where you want. That one's a little ahead. Get right, right in the pocket. Sometimes, obviously, you don't want everything right on the beat, but again, by moving these transient markers anywhere you want, you can put things exactly where you want. So you can really fine tune any type of feel. All right, so um, there's another way to approach this project. And um, you go ahead and just close it and reload it. Um, depending on the source material, the experience that I've had with, uh, let me go ahead and load this in, uh, Titan Drum Tracks. Depending on the source material, it might, we're doing a little bit of audio stretching um, there. Um, just to, to show you, you guys some of the flex, flexibility of audio snap, we're going to try this in another fashion, and that's going to be to split the clips up and change the start time of the clips. So there's actually no stretching involved. And uh, the method to that would be to um, first bounce these all down as a new track. 
and um, kind of shows off some of the other features in sonar. And uh, what we'll do here is an able audio snap by hitting F12. The palette opens up, and uh, let's let's solo this particular. Actually, that's in mono. I wanted to bounce it down in stereo. Um, by the way, the, the procedure that I'm doing now is, is a procedure that you would use on if you had a complete mix in sonar. And um, I mean, if you exported it out in the normal file export, you would have your final mix. But um, you'd also bounce it down to a track so you have your final stereo track right here. But if you know, I mean, this is pretty, a sh this is a short file, but you see how fast that rendered down. You don't, it's not rendering down in real time, it's behind the scenes, and it's all 64-bit. So let's go ahead and um, listen to this. Okay, so that's what we want. Um, again, I'm going to show you a different way to time correct. It, it, it all depends on, on what your production needs are. Uh, this particular transient I don't really want in there. Actually, there's a couple, so let's just go through here and edit out unwanted transients. All right? I think that's... This one probably can go. Or wait, is that, is that going to be one that I want? Let's move, move back a little bit. Yeah, we want that. Okay, so um, the procedure on this would be to, we're going to add the transients to the pool on this mix down track. And then we're going to select all the other, the three other tracks here. And we're going to split clips at audio snap pool. So now at every pool point there's a new, new clip. Okay, we just split all those clips and uh, we're going to do some multi-track editing so to make the process easier let's go ahead and insert a folder and uh, we're going to select these three tracks and let's go ahead and right click and move to folder. There's my drum folder right here. And um, let's go ahead and Collapse this, and uh, now what we're going to want to do is, well, we're going to select all these tracks again. I, I, I guess I didn't have to deselect that, but um, go ahead and we're going to do a new form of quantize here. We're going to quantize to ace, but this time we're going to just quantize the clip start times. And um, if you notice here, this auto crossfade, auto audio clips box uh, popped up, and we can change the amount. You know, in this case, maybe I want to go 25. It kind of depends on the tempo. It's a little trial and error and where you put this. Generally, on a slow, slower tempo, you might use a higher um, t uh, millisecond there. But let's go ahead and use that. And we hit OK. And um, computer's doing a little bit of chugging there. So we go ahead and um, hit play now. Let me make sure that, oh wait, that's still soloed. We don't want to listen to that track. All right. So you can hear the gaps. Okay, but no problem here. We're just going to crossfade these into one another. Um, I'm going to go to Sonar's automatic crossfades box, and we're going to make sure that we're going slow out, fast in. That's probably the best one to use in this circumstance. So let's go ahead and I'm going to drag it from this side. So what we can do is just close all these gaps. Zoom in a little bit more. 
and close that gap. Got another gap here. There. Another gap there. You can see everything. All right. So now let's listen to that. Probably crossfaded that one a little too much, but. So that's another method on how to tighten up a drum, drum track by actually, instead of stretching any audio, um, just changing the, splitting all the clips out as individual, or all the, the regions of the transients into little clips and quantizing the start times. So between these two methods, it's, it's all source material dependent. Um, I found that if, if, you, if you're doing some real radical stretching, um, that will work, but you might have to render it down. Um, this method is nice because there's no stretching involved, but there, there are some cross-fadings. You, you might actually have a situation where uh, maybe you use a little bit of both on a, you know, on a, on a huge project. So it, it all depends on uh, the music that you're working on and your source material.